Welcome back, family, and thank you for joining another edition of The Philip Scott Show. I'm your host, Chanel, and I'll be bringing you more music news entertainment. Here we go. See Slim, baby. So today in music entertainment news, YFN Lucy of the known hit Every Day We Lit. Every Day We Lit. Every Day We Lit. Every day we if lit. you guys are all familiar. And he's also um, known, his legal name is Rayshawn Lamar Bennett, age 29, is facing some serious charges, you guys, after a shooting was taking place on the 10th of December in the Georgia streets. Now, on January 12th, homicide investigators tried their best to locate the hip-hop artist uh, for his arrest by pleading to the public in hopes to arrest YFN Lucy. Now, the police were notified by a 911 call that revealed um, a man of 28 years of age uh, by the name of James Adams was shot down and wounded in the streets of Georgia, y'all. He was then taken to a hospital in Georgia, and that's where he was then pronounced deceased. But get this, there was another victim who was shot in the abdomen, but luckily he survived his wounds and um, was later escorted and chauffeured to a fire station that was nearby, as a matter of fact. And um, police believe that there has to be some type of connection between the two. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. And this victim goes by the name of Kevin Wright. Now, police report that there were three individuals involved in the shooting, including YFN Lucy. Now, the authorities have put out a $5,000 reward for his arrest. And did I tell you what his charges were? One, felony murder, aggravated assault, participation in a criminal street gang activity, and possession of a forearm during the commission of a felony. Now, in a recent article and video um, by Vlad TV, you guys should go check it out, YFN Lucy explains his experience with accidentally shooting a gun at the floor of a, in, during a video shoot. Um, now, I'm not saying that the two are connected in any way, shape, or form, but, you know, I just found this react, well, his reaction actually um, of the accidental shooting in the video shoot to be so mind-blowing due to his ignorant response about gunplay. Now, we all know, if you don't, I've already stated and I'll state it again. I have three boys and I don't play around with gunplay. In the video, he laughs and it's just like a joke, like gunplay is this, gunplay is that, no, boo -boo. Gunplay is serious, and you don't just play around with it like you play with your life. Like, I kind of felt like that was his attitude towards the whole situation. Like, he just playing around with lies. No, you didn't know that the gun was loaded, nor did you know that it was real because you thought it was fake. But here's my thing. If you thought that the gun was fake, why shoot it in the first place? Come on, family. Somebody tell me. Anywho, that's what I think about YFN Lucy's response to that incident, which I believe is totally separate because he is facing charges for murder. But in a recent um, interview, it was discussed why he shot that gun on the video. And I mean, it was honestly could have been a simple mistake, you know, due to not knowing certain things. But when you told them that it didn't matter what gun you'd use, if it was real, if it was fake, why did you all of a sudden assume that it was fake if you told them it didn't matter? Come on now. And you round here shooting. I'm not saying that he was shooting all out and open. Yes, he shot towards the ground, but come on. We all know how bullets fly. And it is not a safe place to be when that goes down. So I just I just disagree with his response. I disagree with his um, nonchalantness about the whole experience. And 
I mean, there were other people around that could have gotten seriously hurt. So I feel like he should have took that into consideration. I feel like it was just very idiotic of him to act like that. But I mean, hey, it is what it is. He is who he is. I'm not trying to change him or anything like that. That's just my opinion. And on here, we're allowed to express that. So go ahead and tell me what you think in the comments. YFN Lucy, you guys. He is facing some serious charges, and we'll see how it goes. Well, that's it for the Philip Scott Show. I'm your host, Chanel, a.k.a. C. Slim, baby. And please be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe, like, share, comment, all the above. Everyone is welcome, and I just love love. So check me out. Thank you for joining again, The Philip Scott Show. The Philip we'll Scott see you Show. next time.